Right, last story. Which story do you want? Day, night, day, night. I told you that story yesterday. Do you really want it again? Yes, yes. Well, all right then. This is the story of when the Numberjacks had a problem. It was the middle of a dark, dark night. The Numberjacks were all asleep. But then, the alarm went off. The Numberjacks made their way sleepily to the control room. Come on, you two. I'm asleep. We were all asleep. Let's see who's out there. Oh, Agent 37 here. Yes, the agent was in pyjamas, because of course it was the middle of the night. There's something strange going on in the street. A man was washing his car in the middle of the night. Numberjack 6 was launched to find out what was going on. And it was very hard to find six a number to land on. Is that a six? Or that? Come on, four. It's hard to see. It's dark. Of course it is. It's night time. But at last they found a number for six to land on. <laughs> Even number jack six was a little bit scared. Out on his own in the dark, dark night. He saw the man still washing his car. Very strange. And then there was news of more problems. Agent 58 here. Go ahead. Instead of being in bed, children are getting up in the middle of the night. On the screen. They're getting dressed and everything. And there were more strange goings on. This time a man getting undressed. The Numberjacks were amazed. He's putting on sun cream to stop getting sunburn. That's silly. He's only got the moon to worry about. You don't need sunglasses. There's no sun. What is going on? Agent 99 here. I think daytime things are happening at night time. The agent was right. Things that normally happen in the daytime were happening in the night time. And who do you think was mixing things up like that? Spooky Spoon. Yes, Spooky Spoon was out and about. She's mean, she's bossy, she's very cruel. She thinks she's great, she thinks she's cool. She's only plastic when she thinks she's fantastic. Yes, Spooky Spoon was flying through the night, making trouble. <laughs> Don't like Spooky Spoon. No, but the Numberjacks can beat her with Brain Game to put things back to normal. And that is what happened next. Brain game to stop daytime things happening at night time. Sending brain game. Number six helped get everything back to normal. When everything seemed fine, Six came flying back home. But was that the end of the problems? No. What happened the next day was this. Children were in their night clothes in the middle of the day. And not just children. 
all sorts of strange things were going on. <laughs> now what was the problem? The agents were calling in to help. Agent 37 here, a bit tired because I was up last night. Oh, tell me about it. What's going wrong now? People are doing things at the wrong time again. But this time they're doing nighttime things in the daytime. Oh no. If Spooky Spoon keeps on mixing up daytime things and nighttime things, anything could happen. Any time. <laughs> Playing football in the dark isn't much fun. You wouldn't be able to see the ball. And it could go anywhere. Or in the daytime at school, you shouldn't go to bed then. Especially if you're the teacher. And even the sun might get confused about daytime and nighttime. And the sun and the moon wouldn't know when it was time to be up in the sky. Oh, it would be very confusing for everyone. <laughs> daytime things at night? Nighttime things in the day? What could the number jacks do? Brain gain. Yes. This time, five went out to get things back to normal. And with the brain gain, she stopped people doing nighttime things during the day. It looked like everything was back to normal. And Five flew back home. But was that the end of the problems? No. No, it was not. Spooky Spoon was up to her tricks again. Ooh. Oh, ah, I'm going to mix things up again. <laughs> I am. And she did mix things up. Children were playing football and changing into their pyjamas at the same time. And a lady was eating a sandwich and cleaning her teeth at the same time. What was going on now? Spooky has mixed things up so people are doing two things at once. Checking that. He play football in the day <laughs> and get ready for bed <laughs> at night. Not both at the same time. And you eat your lunch in the daytime. And clean your teeth at bedtime. Not both at the same time. And look at this. He's putting on his morning clothes. His afternoon swimming things. And his nighttime bed clothes. All, All at, at once. once. Dear, oh dear. Dear. Spooky had mixed things up and people were doing things from different times of the day all at the same time. Same. So the number jacks decided they were going to sort things out once and for all. Right, we've got to get all the things being done at the right time of day and we'll all take it in turns to put things right. Number jack three went out in the morning. people do in the morning? Get up and get dressed. Have breakfast. Go to school and work. Right. I'll need brain gain to help everyone do those morning things. Three sorted it so that people got up and got dressed. They had breakfast and they went to work. The things you do in the morning were all sorted out. Three had done her work and come back. And later in the day, it was Four's turn to fly out. Oof. 
Right. What sort of things do people do in the middle of the day? Be at school. Have their lunch. Play in the park. So number jack four sorted out the things people do in the daytime. Like being at school. Having lunch. And playing in the park. Three and four had sorted out the morning and the daytime. Now it was five's turn to sort out the evening. OK, what do people do in the evening? Have their tea. Get ready for bed. And what else do they do? Have a story. Yes. And so people did the evening things, having tea, getting ready for bed, and having a story. Like us. And all the evening things were sorted, and five came home. And then there was one more number jack ready to go out. Number six. Yes, much later, in the middle of the night. Number six went out again to check that all the nighttime things were back to normal. Everything's quiet. No one's washing their car, and people are in bed as they normally are. Well, you should be. Making brain game to put spooky food to bed. But I'm I'm not tired. No, but we're tired of you. Night, night. Come back now, Six. Everything was back to normal, and when Six got back, the number jacks watched it all on screen. First of all, daytime things were happening at night time. Then nighttime things were happening in daytime. The things you do at different times of the day were all happening at the same time. We had to sort it all out. I went first in the morning. Then I sorted out the things to do in the daytime. And I sorted out things to do in the evening. And finally, I went out at night again to send Spooky Spoon off to bed. Oh. And that is the story of when the number jacks sorted out the morning, the daytime, the evening and the nighttime. The time little number jacks are asleep. Night night. I wonder, what things do you do in the daytime? And what things do you do in the nighttime? And are there any things you do all the time? Have a think and call the number jacks. But not too loud.